I'm Luke Top. Um, been we incorporated as Top's Mechanical eight years ago, I believe. It was my father and myself that uh, started Top's Mechanical. For a small mom and pops company, uh, kind of like I said before, we, we go we go anywhere. Been everywhere from California to New York State to Texas to North Dakota to uh, just about every state in between. The business started out, got its big break in the ethanol business when the boom was going on. And we've grown from there. We have uh, code stamps, so we're allowed to build vessels, pressure vessels, for the MBIC and ASME. Uh, so we have section, we do section one, we do section eight. We have uh, the RSU stamps, so we're allowed to go out in the field and do repairs. And we also do repairs here at the shop on pressure vessels. We work on ethanol plants, we work on uh, CO2 plants, do a lot of work for them. Of course we fabricate just about anything. Most of our preheat was done with uh, propane, flame preheat. Uh, we do have a, an old machine with the chiclets, the ceramic chiclets to uh, do preheats, but it's covered with dust right now, let's yeah. put it that way. It just sits there. It's it's a pretty simple machine to run. It's it's not that hard. The the time in getting uh, material up to temp is is quicker. In the field or in the shop, if you've got one individual weld, you have to wrap it every time and and you can it's about half or or a little a little less on the time of wrapping. They can do that and they can be doing something else while they're monitoring the machine. They don't have to just, to where before I had to hire an outside out company to come in, they'd wrap it and then they stand there. And you're paying their labor to stand there and watch your guys work. So now I have a guy that works for us that he can be a heat treat technician but he can all, or preheat technician, but he can also be doing other things and still monitor the machine. On a preheat on propane, you know, the guy, I've, I've seen guys stand there a half hour or better, you know, maybe 40 minutes, depending on the outside weather and all that, just to achieve, you know, especially in uh, your chrome pipe, you know, where you got to get it up to 400. Um, they'll stand there for quite some time versus, you know, you put the, the heat coils on it, turn that machine on, and within, within 15, 20 minutes, I mean, you're up to temp. You're, you're ready to weld. Induction heating is a lot more even uh, heat uh, and a lot easier to maintain. The others are awful patchy. You know, you'll see hot spots and not majorly different, but um, noticeably different areas. The safety factor, nobody gets burned. I mean, it's unless you get right on the raw metal, you're, it's safe. Welders are like little kids. They're gonna touch stuff. If they see it there, they're gonna grab it. And these guys do, and it just, it's amazing to see that the first time, a, especially an old hand that's been around for a while and has welded around the resistance heating and then touches or touches one of these hoses and he doesn't get burned and it, it's the amazement on their face is just hysterical. It, the money savings in the, in the wrapping, unwrapping, is where you uh, make the big difference. Oh, the, the the price of propane, buck and a half a gallon, buck thirty a gallon, something like that. I think a uh, 500 gallon tank about every two months. I, the time's the, to me the biggest one because I mean minutes compared to hours, it just, to me it doesn't make sense to go any other direction.